This is a strategic reading lesson using the strategy of questioning. There are four different types of questions that we ask ourselves while reading and before we read and after. There's pondering questions, which are questions that can't be answered. They're the questions that ask the great questions, such as, why is the sky blue? There's clarifying questions, which ask to confirm information. These are the real easy, right there questions that students like to answer. There's inferring questions, in which students need to use their background knowledge and draw a conclusion. And finally, there's predicting questions, in which students will need to ask a question about what is coming up later on in the text. We're going to apply these four types of questions to this story, living in a lighthouse. Now, the first thing a good reader should do is preview. Uh, in this particular story, we have a title, living in a lighthouse, uh, and we have a picture, which is a lighthouse with a pier. Um, there is no author or any other text features for us to preview. So before we begin reading, we're going to create a few questions based on our preview of the story. First off, um, I'm going to ask the question, does anybody live in this lighthouse? Um, as you can see, as I stated up here, before reading questions are almost all the time predicting questions. These questions will hopefully be answered when we read the text. Uh, you can use these question starters box down here to start you off with a, with a question if you're having trouble. Uh, now I'm going to answer this question right away, and then... As I read the text, I'm going to monitor my answer to see if it was right or wrong. Uh, so I'm saying, does anybody live here? I'm going to create an answer, and I'm going to say, uh, yes, the workers. People who run the White House live here. Okay. I'm going to go back to my preview. I'm going to continue to scan. Uh, I'm coming up with another question. Um, who owns this lighthouse? Um, and of course, I want to answer that right away. Whether my answer is right or wrong, I want to give myself that instant recognition. I'm going to say it is owned by the state. Okay. Now we've asked ourselves a few questions. We're going to go into the story, we're going to read it, and we're going to try to find the answers to our questions as we're reading. Alright, so living in a lighthouse. Life in a lighthouse in southern England can move from incredibly boring to wildly thrilling in a matter of seconds. Most of the time, our life is dull and dreary. Okay, I'm going to underline that dull and dreary. Now, I'm looking at these two questions. I have not answered these questions yet. But, I have this section as well, which is the during reading questions. Alright, so at the same time while I'm looking for the answers, I want to ask myself some new questions as well. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, how is life dull and dreary? Um... So again, I'm going to answer that question right away, and I'm going to look for the answer. Uh, well, I could imagine that life is dull and dreary because there are not many people around. Okay, so now, as I'm reading, I'm looking to see if I can find the answer to this question as well as these questions. So I've given myself a purpose to read this. I've given myself a goal, and that's to find the answers to these questions. We live miles from town and have no one to talk to other than ourselves. Okay, this sentence right here just answered my question. So, my guess is there are not many people around. Well, that was, that was 
pretty good. Right, it wasn't 100% correct, but it was pretty close. Okay. They live miles from town, and I'm sure they get tired of each other. Now, as you can see up here, during reading question can be predicting, clarifying, inferring, or pondering. This, how is life Dylan Drury? That is a clarifying question. I just clarified my answer by saying there are not many people around. Now, or that by they live miles from town. Now, when I said here they get tired of each other, I made an inference there. It doesn't tell me that they get tired of each other, but I was able to draw that conclusion. So that would be considered a clarifying question, or you might even say it's an inferring question. All right, I'm going to continue to read and look for the answers to my before reading questions, as well as create new ones. Our small lighthouse is home not only to our large family, but also my father's lighthouse assistant. Okay. Well, I just found the answer to another question. Does anybody live in this lighthouse? Well, I said the workers. Again, that was a pretty good guess. The correct answer was the family, which includes the narrator and his father, um, the family and his lighthouse assistants. Okay, again, I asked what was going to happen coming up. Um, I was able to answer it, so that is a predicting question. I'm going to continue to read the story and ask myself and answer more of these questions. The crowded rooms and the same conversation can be very tiresome after a while. My father's job as a lighthouse operator is extremely vital to sailors during dangerous storms. Okay, so that just made me think of another question. Why is his job vital to sailors? Now, I can assume that he lights the light, or he operates the lighthouse to warn sailors um, of any dangers. Okay, so he warns sailors. Now, that's my guess, but I'm going to continue to read, try to come up with an answer. Um, our lighthouse is the only warning sign for ships trying to avoid a treacherous, rocky reef. Okay, so again, I just answered my question. Why is his job vital to sailors? He is the warning sign, the only warning sign. Okay, so this time, my guess was 100% right. Okay, so that would be a clarifying question. Um, one question I'm asking myself, I'm thinking as I'm going here, is when does this story take place? And I'm just going to make a guess, and I'm going to say the year 1950. I don't know, really know if that's correct or not, but I'm just going to continue to go on. There's really not a lot of information here for me to base that guess on. Okay, I'm going to go back into the story and continue to look for the answers. I remember one storm where the angry waves tossed jagged rocks straight through the lighthouse window. The window shattered and the lighthouse flame went out. Rain and waves continued to pour in, soaking everything. Without that flame illuminating the beacon, surely sailors would hit the reef. My father and his assistants, as well as my oldest brothers, tried everything to light the wick, but it was just too wet. Okay, so they tried everything to light the wick. It got wet. Now, when does this story take place? Well, this gives me a pretty good indication that having a wick, I would infer that these days a lighthouse would be operated um, by a bulb instead of a wick. So I'm going to say the wick gives the clue that this is um, a couple decades ago. Well, it's not anything happening within the last few decades. A right, new question i reminded of is, will they light? The wick, or uh, better yet, how will they light the wick? Okay, and I'm going to say they will dry 
dry it and light it after hours of trying. All right, now I'm going to continue to read, see if I can find the answer. Finally, it was my resourceful mother who saved the day. She was able to take the leg off a broken chair and ignite it on our stove. My sisters and I worked together to protect the flame as we carried it up the lighthouse stairs. At last, my mother was able to place her torch in place of the wick. Thanks to my mom's quick thinking, ships would now be able to avoid the disastrous reef. It was an exciting night that easily could have turned into a deadly one. Okay, so I see there that they didn't like the wick. They replaced it with a chair leg. Okay, so as you can see, that was a either clarifying or predicting question. Right? Sometimes these questions can be put into more than one category, and that's okay. The most important thing is to think deeply while you're reading and to hold your thinking and set yourself a goal, give yourself a purpose to read. All right, now that I've finished the story, I have a couple questions um, that I'm still wondering about. Um, first off, are lighthouses in operation today? Now, this question, I don't have an answer to. I, I would assume that with the sophisticated instruments that are available to ships today, that they might not need a lighthouse. But that is something that I would have to look up. So this is a pondering question because it doesn't have a definitive answer. Another after reading question is, do people still live? Do people still live in them? Or are they operated mechanically? Okay, again, I don't know the answer to this question. I would have to look it up. Therefore, it is a pondering question. 